hi guys <laughs> Philosophy. A word so simple yet so intricate at the same time. Who knew that in my lifespan here on earth would I ever come across studying about philosophy? Chances were 10 to none probably, but I did. I came across it and I came across it for a reason. In this world around us, a world that philosophers today are still trying to crack, whether it is us who exist inside the world or the world exists within us? These are the type of questions I came across during the time I was studying philosophy. And I have to say that that was the start of a chapter I didn't know I had. Throughout the lessons we had, I picked up a ton of lessons that I am sure I will be able to carry out for the rest of my life. And I'm going to share some of them with you. Most of these I wrote about in my blog and I just needed to share it to you because that's where I pour everything that stuck with me after a specific lesson. Take note that I only included the ones that got my head exploding. Like this clip. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That's... No joke, I sent this exact clip to my friend when I first heard about some of these things. Okay, so we're starting off with our friends from way back, the pre-Socratic philosophers. This topic had a lot of important learnings and it is important to stress that without them, science today wouldn't be the same. But there is one specific pre-Socratic philosopher that stuck with me, especially one of his specific teachings. Presenting Mr. Empedocles himself. He believed that love and strife are the two forces that make change and movement possible. And it speaks volumes pertaining to what he believed in. Love is a force that will not be reckoned with. Though it is not the reason for movement and change, it's force that can make people change the way they feel, the choices they pick, and the things they believe in. Maybe this is why Empedocles believed it in the first place, but who am I to say? Next off is the wisest of all men, the man of the hour, Mr. Socrates himself. He has to be important, right? I mean, there was a whole generation of philosophers named specifically after him, pre-Socratic. So yes, he is way more than important. And yes, the next teaching I will be sharing unto you is from Socrates himself. From a man with so much wisdom, so much humbleness, and probably so much power. What I adored and learned from him was not just a simple lesson, but a way of life. He made me believe that once you truly understand yourself, one can achieve the ultimate understanding of the world around them. It made me view the world from such a different perspective. He made me want to search for more true meanings, not only in the world around me, but also in the depths of my own self. In a world where most people keep their heads snooped onto their phones, checking the updates on other people's lives, maybe you should come to reconsider the fact that your own life has so much more to unravel. The last teaching that I would like to share with you is from a lesson that was discussed to us quite recently. For this one, we will dive into the world of contemporary philosophy and take a little visit from our old friend, Mr. Martin Heidegger. This out of the other two teachings I have discussed really hit different. Authentic existence. Let that settle in. How does one live an authentic life? Living an authentic life means living as if there wasn't a tomorrow. Living as if it was the last day and that by itself is amazing. After I found out about this, I see myself taking risks and not leaving any regrets. I find myself doing things I don't normally do. And it is because of this saying. Some people might take it the wrong way, but always remember that our freedom to choose to do whatever we want do has its limits. Freedom is not absolute. Another saying from a contemporary philosopher, John Paul Sartre. And that's it! My top 3 most favorite teachings all throughout the semester. I can say that after everything that I have learned, I truly am not the same person I was before I started this class. It changed the way I look at things, it changed the way I talk, changed the way I thought, and even changed the way I lived my life. So yes, studying about philosophy is really important, especially for us students who are about to face the reality after high school. Philosophy will truly help us in making wiser decisions, battle hardships better, and explain things better for the next generations to come. I could not stress this enough when I say that philosophy truly did help me. 
not only by taking care of myself, but also of the other people around me. And that's it for philosophy. Sadly, it is the last time. I truly did enjoy it, and I can't wait to live the rest of my life applying what I have learned from this subject. Thank you for watching. Happy living, everyone. <laughs>